Hi there. We're, we are now going to multiply polynomials. Let's multiply a monomial by a binomial. All right, we take the 3x squared and we multiply it by the first term of the binomial, which is 2x copy down the plus sign, and write 3x squared times the second term of the binomial, which is 5. So we have 3x squared times 2x plus 3x squared times 5. We rearrange the terms now. We have 3 times 2 times x squared times x plus 3 times 5 times x squared and that gives us 6x to the 2 plus 1. Remember if we multiply like bases we add the exponents plus 15x squared. So our final answer is 6x cubed plus 15x squared. Now we're going to multiply a binomial by a polynomial that happens to be a trinomial. And what we're going to do is distribute the binomial 2x plus 5 to each term in the trinomial. And what I'm going to do is slip 2x plus 5 in right behind each term. So I'll have negative 5x squared, parentheses 2x plus 5, parentheses closed, plus 2x times parentheses 2x plus 5, parentheses closed, plus negative 3, parentheses 2x plus 5, parentheses closed. Now notice that we're back to pretty much the same thing we did before. I, we're distributing and distributing and distributing. So that gives us negative 5x squared times 2x plus negative 5x squared times 5 plus 2x times 2x plus 2x times 5 plus negative 3 times 2x plus negative 3 times 5. Now we multiply the, the numbers, the coefficients together and we multiply the, uh, uh, the bases together. We multiply the numbers together, but now x squared doesn't have another variable to multiply. We multiply 2 and 2 together, and then we multiply x to the 1 times x to the 1. We multiply 2 times 5, and then x. 
which is, of course, x to the 1. We multiply negative 3 times 2 times x to the 1. And we multiply negative 3 times 5, which is negative 15. Our first term then is negative 10x cubed plus negative 25x squared plus 4x squared plus 10x plus negative 6 x plus negative 15. So negative 10x to the third leads off because it's the highest power. Then we combine negative 25x squared and 4x squared. That will give us negative 21x squared. We combine 10x and ne negative 6x, and that will give us 4x. And then minus 15 brings up the rear. So our answer is negative 10x cubed minus 21x squared plus 4x minus 15. Be sure to replay this. It, be sure to replay this until you get the hang of it.